Let's talk about the process of improvisation and comedy. Yes. What is the uh, process by which Second City operated and you operate as a stand-up in terms of utilizing improv to develop routines? Well, there's two things that I think are really important in terms of the Second City way, which I do, which I use as an actor, which is you get what you get from the other person to use to like explore and heighten whatever they give you. However, the most important thing as an improvisational actor is, and you have to have this in your head, and that is making the other actor look good. If you're trying to make the other actor look good and he's trying to make you look good, guess what? You're going to look good. doesn't always work that way. A lot of people go up on stage, they're selfish. They're not thinking of exploring. They're not thinking of making you look good. And it just doesn't, it's not fun. It doesn't flow. My job is to try and communicate what it is I'm trying to do to the audience. Sometimes they dig it, sometimes they don't. It's not my responsibility to make them dig it. I, I, I'm not selfish. I want them to dig it. I'm, 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 I'm hoping that they dig it, but sometimes they don't, and that's okay, that happens. Now, what I'll do, uh, like uh, where I'm inspired from Sonny Rollins, is that I will take a piece that I've done before and do it in a completely different way and add things. But I also go up on stage with ideas, just free-floating ideas, and I go off on them. That's how I write. I write on stage with just something that I think might be funny, talk about it, and it develops into something. Once it develops into something, then I play around with it. And I make it really big, and then I'll bring it back, and then I'll, it'll grow. And it's a constant process, but it's always interesting to me. Well, what you're talking about is also the way that musicians improvise. Right. Well, that's why... My greatest influence as a stand-up comedian is really uh, jazz music. And, and I can honestly say that I'm trying to think of anybody else. Maybe Louis C.K., I'll have to ask him if he feels the same way I do as far as that's concerned. But I might be the only, you know, a lot, not a lot of my peers improvise. Um, and sometimes I think uh, maybe I'd be at Carnegie Hall if I didn't improvise, where I just did the thing and every night there was a consistency, um, who knows? Uh, I, I, but I am an improvisational stand-up, and it is uh, completely influenced from improvisational jazz. Is it difficult to just keep on improvising continuously for a long period of time? Not for me. That's what I do. And it's actually, I don't want to say easy, because I have respect for my art form, but uh, I'm an improvisational stand-up. My peers, not so much. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to feel like I've excluded anybody or there's somebody new, but it's what I do. I'll go up on stage with nothing. I won't even go up on stage with a preconceived idea. I'll tell another comedian before I walk up, I say, give me a word, give me a thought, and they'll say, light socket. Or I remember, I remember a, a, a friend of mine came to my show, I said, uh, you know, I improvise my sets. He's like, really? I go, yeah, give me, a, uh, give me something. And he gave me the, the orange guy with the crown that's on a bag of oranges. And I did 35 minutes on that guy and how it came about, the meetings that led to it, the approvals. Like, I did all the characters, and it was great fun. Um, and I don't, it's just what I do. 